Hi Travel Club Project, my name is Advik and today I will be discussing the two most common ways of holding two mouths with one hand, commonly referred to in playing as the four mouth technique. Being a percussionist, I found this extremely handy in playing chords on a keyboard mallet instrument in a concert band, in a concert band setting or playing solo or chamber literature. The first is the Stevens Grip, developed by marimba artist Lee Howard Stevens. It is traditionally used for the marimba, and it's great for arpeggios and especially large intervals, as the mallets are um, quite free to move around. And so these are, these are the marimba mallets I have. Um, they're made of yarn and typically have this ovoid shape or something along those lines. The way I slide into the grip is by holding the outside mallet, which is, uh, if you were to lay all the mallets out like this, like all four of them, you, from left to right, they'd be one, two, three, four. One and four are the outside mallets, and then two and three are the insides. So you'd hold the um, outside with your ring and pinky fingers, and the inside with all the rest of your fingers. So like your thumb, index, and middle. And it should look like that. And yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how you do it. And the second is the Burton Grip, developed by vibraphonist Gary Burton. It is traditionally used for the, you guessed it, vibraphone. <laughs> and it's great for uh, block chords where all the notes are sounding at once and like smaller intervals, like, like if you're doing like a minor second. Uh, this is, for me, a more comfortable grip. As the mallets are held quite securely in place, uh, these are my vibraphone, or vibes for short, mallets. Um, and they're also made of yarn, but a bit more like spherical. And these ones have the, um, they normally do, but these ones have uh, these two lines going around on the top and bottom. Um, an easy way to get into the grip is to lay the outside mallet on top of the inside mallet. So, um, I don't know how to show that, but like, yeah. You, you kind of would like put them down and then lay the outside on top of the inside. And simply just pick them up with your index finger in between, and so, and then you use the rest of your fingers to kind of like hold them, hold them steady, and that's, that's kind of how you do it, yeah. So choose which one feels more comfortable for you, and if it's a little um, difficult to control the mallets at first, don't worry, it's really just doing it a lot over time that will help, because it's sort of like, um, it's kind of practice makes progress, you know? <laughs> Not perfect, because if you, practice the wrong thing, it's not perfect. I personally prefer Burton, but I'll choose uh, which one is more appropriate for the music, and uh, I, I'll like tend to switch grips like that <laughs> if one gets a little uncomfortable after a while. Stevens to Burton is a little complex. Ooh, even I'm not like getting it, but you just kinda, yeah. There we go, yeah. I just switch grips when one gets uncomfortable. I kind of alternate between the two. So two marimba solo pieces that I would recommend for anyone who is a beginner with this t technique are what um, us percussionists sometimes call the Rain Twins, which are Rain Dance by Alice Gomez and Marilyn Rife, which I actually performed on my own YouTube channel. After the Rain by Mitchell Peters, which I performed for our Treble Club's 100th video special, if you haven't seen that. They both have very memorable melodies and the patterns are relatively easy to pick up on. I think of, I think of them as the marimba literature equivalents of Shape of You and Closer because they are just that popular <laughs> in that world. But personally, I love them both musically. Like, I really do, even though a lot of percussionists are a bit tired of hearing them. <laughs> but don't let that get you down. Take my word for it. Um, these two are perfect starters for learning the formal technique. And that's about it for now. If you found this helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Treble Cuff Project for a lot more tutorials slash lecture videos related to the, to the performing arts, just like this one. Good luck, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.